Good morning, peoples. Good morning, saints. I just wanted to get on here real quick and remind you that today is just one more day that the Lord granted us, that he made, that he designed, that he purposed just for you and I to come out here, to go out here, to be the light, to flourish, to be helping hands, to be his disciples, to be his saint. And I want us to remember that as it gets chaotic um, throughout the day. I uh, was thinking I was going to be a big girl, get up early this morning, go to the grocery store, you know, so I don't have to be in anybody's way. And the grocery store is already packed. There's one person checking everybody out. And it's just crazy, but it's a crazy calm because when you're in the midst of grown people, nobody, no one was cursing, no one was fussing. Um, it was just, hey, we know this is expected. They weren't expecting us to be up so early coming to the store. I worked at Brookshire's before, and I know that morning shift, you only have one or two people working and everybody else comes in um, a whole lot later. So it was understood and before as i was going in this gentleman um i walked right past the buggies and then i'm like well where are they so he saw me coming back so he gave me one and then later on at the end um because he was an elderly gentleman the i, I it seemed like i was just following him throughout the store but i purposely wasn't and the lady says sir are you elderly and he he couldn't hear so i'm thinking obviously uh if not just let him go because he couldn't hear you but um, he was, so he turns around and he looks at me and says, you see, I just got my blessing back from giving you your buggy. And of course, my words to him is the gift that keeps on giving, you know, we do unto others as we would have someone to do unto us and then we get it back in return. So just make sure that, you know, during this season, you know, that we're going through right now, that you are being the person that you have always been and that you're not becoming greedy and that you're not becoming mean or you're not becoming you know overwhelmed and all the anxiety that can make us you know become who we don't want to be and regret some of the things that we do so take a moment know that you perhaps will have to wait understand that there will be things that have already been purchased by others but what God has for you and what he wants you to have he will give it to you some way some fashion so no worries don't worry about it all so again i just want to remind you ladies and gentlemen to know that this is the day that our god has made so we better rejoice and be glad be so glad that people can see it all over your face. Be so glad that when you driving down the highway, baby, your car smiling. I mean, be so glad that the people that are next to you, that are connected to you, that they can't do anything but smile or be happy just because they're in your presence. We have to be the people who change the environment. We are environment changers. You cannot walk around moping in this season. And in, and in my thought process, never ever should we walk around with that on our faces, in our spirits. Yes, I get it. We get down, life happens. But don't be the person that makes life, life happen to you all the time. Don't be a woe me person. Don't be the person that's what well, it always has to happen to me. Well, maybe God is allowing these things to happen to you so that you can, you know, be be the light to foot push through so people can look at you and see, well, hey, Tia went through that or so and so went through that and they went through it well. So I want to go through that same thing just like they did. So you have to be an encourager in every moment of your life, be an inspiration to somebody, some way, somehow how because God's depending on you I'm depending on you your neighbor is depending on you someone out there is depending on your greatness to overcome all the complications in your life to be who God called them to be it's simple it is so simple but we get caught up in ourselves our greatest enemy is ourself our greatest enemy is ourself we get so caught up in self and then we even begin to think that we're doing things for God and it's not for God. You're using God, as my pastor say, you're using God for your benefit. But but you, you don't have to. Just surrender unto him. Listen to his voice. 
do his will, live by those fruit of the spirit, and all will be well. And every day that you wake up, you won't have to make it a good day because you will know that once you rose and that you had a simple, a mere simplistic thought that God chose to wake you up. And with that, you will be so super excited that you, you, you can't do anything but smile. You can't do anything but give him praise. You can't do anything but try to figure out how can I give him back an inch of what he's blessed me with. That's how important it is. That's how good he is. And that's why I wake up and I rejoice and I'm super happy. And I don't know, I have this joy that maybe you don't understand, but it's not to be understood. It's to be contagious. So smile, smile back at me. Let me see. Smile back at me. Let me see some teeth. Come on, you can do it. Smile, smile. Tell yourself, I'm happy. I'm full of joy. I got this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the best that I can be today. If I'm asked to stay at work late or longer, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna be the person that said, mm -mm. help people. That's what God chose you for to help people help one another y'all have a blessed 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 day rejoice and be glad amen bye